Good evening. I'm Rhonda at Carnivore Leo, bringing you news we can use from the community. First, I would like to thank my hubby, Mello Mel, for contributing to tonight's segment. He researched the information and provided me with some good notes about ways to mitigate boredom on the carnivore diet. One thing people struggle with when doing carnivore is feeling bored or feeling like they don't have enough variety. There are some ways to mitigate the boredom or palate fatigue and add some variety to the same meats that we eat every day. One tip is to have two different types of meat on your plate, such as steak and shrimp or chicken wings and beef steak bites. For those following a strict lion diet, a steak and beef fat bites or lamb chops and burger patties could be an option. A while back, Dr. Kilt stated on a short video that carnivore condiments are a perfect addition when you're needing something a little extra once in a while. You can use bacon sprinkles, or if you don't eat pork, you can use beef bacon, melted butter or ghee, sour cream, smoked red mineral salt, a meat reduction sauce, which consists of meat fat drippings with butter, cream, and salt. You can use a hollandaise sauce, carnivore mayo, such as baconese, carnivore cheese sauce, and fish sauce. Fish sauce only consists of fermented anchovies and sea salt and adds an umami flavor to the steak. Some carnivores make a compound butter by whipping anchovy paste with softened butter and rolling it into a thin log but using parchment paper and then placing it in the refrigerator to harden. Then once they're ready to use it, they just slice the compound butter and place it on their steak for an amazing flavor. If you can tolerate seasonings, you can use them to add different flavors to your meats as long as they don't contain any sugar. If you are keto or ketovore, other spices like thyme, rosemary, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, pepper, smoked paprika, and dried mustard are also good options to enhance the flavor of your meat. Another way to add variety to your meals is to try different cuts of meat, such as brisket, chuck roast, sirloin, picanha, tenderloin, ribs, shank, pork, chicken, lamb, seafood, or other types of beef such as Wagyu. For variety, try cooking steak different ways. Some of the best uh, cooking methods for steak are grilling or smoking, braising, pan searing, roasting, reverse searing, and broiling. Some cuts of beef can be tough, like sirloin, brisket, tri-tip, flank steak, and London broil, so you can tenderize the meat by pounding it with a meat mallet. If you don't have a meat mallet, you can use a skillet, saucepan, or rolling pin. This will help soften and tenderize the meat and help create uniform thickness so the steak cooks more evenly. Salting up to an hour in advance of cooking also helps break down the proteins and makes the meat more tender. You can marinate the meat with vinegar and avocado or olive oil and salt for a few hours before cooking. And also you can slow cook in a crock pot or pressure cooker, uh, which breaks down the connective tissue and releases collagen, resulting in supple, shreddable meat. Slow cooking applications also include braising, barbecue, and sous vide. You can also score the meat, which involves cutting shallow slits into its surface, and that will help tenderize the meat. Another way to break up the monotony of eating the same meats the same way every day is to try various recipes. There are many channels that show carnivore and keto or ketovore recipes. To name a few, there's Anita at Ketogenic Woman, Laura Spath, Cassie at Carnivore Quest, Reed at Carnivorous Chef, Chris at Chris Cooking in Nashville, Jason at Just Jason Keto, who has many wonderful looking carnivore and keto chaffle recipes. And there is Maria Emmerich, who has a carnivore steak sauce recipe on her channel that uses cream cheese, butter, beef bone broth, and truffle salt. Maria also has a carnivore cookbook that features over 116 tasty recipes, which can be found at ketomaria.com. 
I hope that these tips for mitigating boredom on the carnivore diet will help you if you are feeling bored or need more variety. Before I close, G wanted me to cover my updates and what's going on on my channel. For the month of February, I joined my co-host on the Lion Diet Challenge, which consists of only ruminant meat, such as beef and lamb, and salt and water. My daily meals mostly consist of steak bites, beef fat bites, beef sausages, burger patties, and lamb chops. And so far, I haven't been bored. I also only eat when I'm truly hungry, which is one meal a day during my lunch break. This helps me to not get bored with the food that I'm eating. I do miss eating eggs, seafood, bacon, and dairy, but I know I can add those foods back once the Lion Diet Challenge is over. The main thing I have noticed with the Lion Diet is with the elimination of dairy, I no longer feel sore when I'm working out. So that tells me dairy is somewhat inflammatory. So when the Lion Diet Challenge ends, I may continue to eliminate dairy altogether. As far as my channel goes, I haven't added much content due to my work schedule. However, I still post shorts periodically showing what I eat in a day on the Lion Diet. And I also upload the News We Can Use segments on my channel. This past weekend, JT at Poco Moonshine Family interviewed me on his channel. So if you haven't seen that already, you can catch the replay on my channel located under the live tab. Lastly, my hubby and I are still in the process of working out when we can meet with our local pastured-raised pig farmer. So that's all I have going on at the moment. And this has been News We Can Use from the community. Thank you for watching and good night.